Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 2nd of October to the 6th of October 2017. As usual, starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of pairs looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're looking for in the coming week or weeks ahead. Now, just before we start, I'd like to say a quick thank you to everybody who attended our two weeks free trial of the live rooms last week and the week before. You were all fantastic. We had some really good interaction and we had a really good couple of weeks. So I thank you for that. I would also like to extend a thank you to all of you who signed up with us in the last two weeks. And I promise you we're going to have some really, really good sessions going ahead in the future. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, you can see that the US dollar index has now broken to the upside above the key area of resistance at the 92.586. And we had a tag of the targets that we were looking at last week. We said if we got a breakout above the downward sloping trend line in this key area of resistance over here. Now you can see we are breaking out here of a reversal pattern known as a inverse head and shoulders. So we are expecting further advances in the US dollar next week. We are looking, first of all, potentially for a pullback and a retest of the broken resistance area at 92.565 to act as support. And then we're going to be looking for advances in the US dollar index up towards the first target of the 93.635 and then to the secondary target of the 94.630. Although bear in mind, this may take a couple of weeks to reach the target at the top here. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, oil performed nicely last week, in fact, taking out the two targets that we had highlighted to the upside. You can see we started to sell off roughly at the 52.50 area and we had this capitulation to the downside and we are forming somewhat of a uh, bear pattern to the downside. We still maintain an overall bullish bias on oil as we are in an uptrend. But what we are looking for next week is a potential pullback to the key areas of support at 50.81. And if we get a breakthrough there, we'll be looking further down to the 50.33. And we'll be looking towards these two areas, primarily the 50.81 area, to look for those bullish formations and patterns to form in oil. And we're going to be looking to initiate longs up towards the target of the 53.68 and the 55.11 respectively. Now the first pair we're going to look at is the Euro US dollar. Now we do have a bullish bias on the US dollar index. So we are looking for declines in pairs which are against the dollar as we look for US dollar strength. We are forming a bearish pattern known as a bear flag in the Euro US dollar and we are approaching a key level of broken support at the 1.18455. As long as we remain below this key level of support, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form, possibly on a retest of this broken support acting as resistance. And we're going to be looking for targets to the downside of the 1.16942 first. If we get a breakthrough there, we're going to be looking down towards the 1.16399. And then ultimately, we have a target here at the 1.15167 in the euro US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is the British pound versus the US dollar. Now, we are generally speaking looking for US dollar strength next week. However, the British pound is also a fairly strong currency. As you can see, it has been trending to the downside. In, it's been trending to the upside in the bigger picture, but we have this secondary trend here pushing down. And as long as we stay below this downward sloping trend line, I would expect to see further declines in the pound US dollar looking down towards the 1.33271 and then also the 1.32274. However, because this is a counter trend move, ideally what we'd like to see is a break above 
the key area of resistance at the 1.34074. And this is where we can start to look for bullish formations and patterns to form above this key area of resistance. And we're going to be looking for longs up towards the targets of the 1.36710, the 1.37811, and also the 1.39400. Just remembering it may take a couple of weeks to reach the higher targets here in the pound US dollar. So just to summarize, we are ready and prepared to trade the British pound US dollar either way next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now the US dollar Japanese yen is pushing to the upside and we are expecting further advances in the US dollar. Now you can see we have this bullish pattern forming in the US dollar yen and we are looking for further advances in the US dollar Japanese yen. Now we do have a key area of support and resistance at the 112.117. Now it has broken this area and failed as resistance. We are looking for a test of support. And if we get a test of this area, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to form at this level. And we're going to be looking up towards the targets of the 113603 and also the 114288 in the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, just bear in mind, we could start to push higher from the open of next week and where we sit now. However, the ideal scenario would be for a pullback into that key level of support of the 1112-117. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now, Aussie US dollar has broken down below the key area of support at the 0 0.78547. And it's actually holding under this area and it's starting to consolidate underneath this key area of support, which was broken now acting as resistance. You can see we are also trending to the downside now and we are looking for further declines in the Aussie US dollar. I question whether we're going to get one more test here, maybe of the key area of resistance and also the downward sloping trend line. So this would be an area of confluence. And this would be a great place to start to look for shorts in the Aussie US dollar. And we're looking to take those shorts down towards the 0 0.77122, which is the target going into next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now the New Zealand US dollar, again, keeping in with our theme of a strong dollar next week. We are looking for further declines in the New Zealand US dollar. You can see the New Zealand US dollar is forming this bearish pattern known as a expanded flat. And we are looking for further declines to the downside, possibly if we get a retest of the key area of support, which was broken over here, and we get a retest of this support acting as resistance. This would be a fantastic place to look for shorts, and that area is the 0.72561. But I say possibly because we might just start to see some accumulation at the start of next week and we might see those declines in the New Zealand US dollar without tagging the 0 0.72561. Now we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to short this pair and we're going to be looking down towards the 0 0.71223 and the 0 0.70687 if we can get through the first target we have highlighted in this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is the Euro Swiss. Now the Euro Swiss is consolidating underneath the key area of support and resistance at the 1.14482, in this case acting as resistance. We also have a bearish formation forming here and we are looking for further declines as long as price stays below the 1.144. 82 area of resistance and we're going to be looking down towards the 1.13594 and the 1.12782 as targets going into next week if we get a break above this key area of resistance and this resistance area fails we could be on for moves up towards the 1.15558 but ideally we're going to be looking for shorts next week underneath this key level of resistance in the euro swiss franc The next pair we're going to look at is the pound yen. Now the pound yen is in an overall uptrend as we can see and we are looking for the pound yen to make higher highs and continue this trend to the upside. We're looking for a continuation of the pound strength which we've seen now over the last few weeks. 
We're currently sitting above the key area of support at 150.204. Now, if we get some bullish formations and patterns appearing in this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look to initiate those longs. And we have a target at the 154.478 in the pound yen. If we start to break down below the key area of support at the 150.204, we're going to be looking for potential moves down towards the 148.473. But as long as we stay above this key area of support, we're going to be looking only to initiate those longs up towards the target of the 154.478. The next pair we're going to look at is the Euro Japanese Yen. Now you can see price was trading above the key area of resistance and support over here at the 133.324. Held a support a couple of times over here and it broke and it failed as a key level of support over here as you can see. As a result, after price got squeezed and we had this breakdown below the key area of support at the 133.324, we started to form this bearish pattern known as a bear flag. And as a result, we are looking for further declines in the euro yen next week, possibly after a tag of the 133.324 key level of support which failed acting as resistance. And we're looking to initiate those shorts down towards the targets of the 131.067 and the 130.314 respectively on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand Swiss franc. Now the New Zealand Swiss franc, as you can see, capitulated last Friday at the end of the week. And you can see we are forming a type of head and shoulders here. And if we draw a neckline across here, you can see we've in fact started to break out. So what we're gonna be looking for going into next week is the following. We would like to see price pulling back towards the key level of broken support turning resistance at the 0 0.69902, which would also see a pullback of the broken neckline here for the head and shoulders pattern. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts from this area. We're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form. And we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down towards the key level of support on the New Zealand franc, which sits at 0.69140 and is the next target on this pair. And the final pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand Canadian dollar. Now the New Zealand Canadian dollar, as you can see, attempted to break above the key area of resistance as it was over here at the 0 0.90035 and it failed to stay above here trying again for a second time before capitulating to the downside it has pulled back now and twice retested this key area of resistance at the 0 0.90035 and as of last friday you can see we started to get a sell-off from this key area of resistance as a result, we go into next week looking for shorts in the New Zealand Canadian dollar. And as long as we stay below the 0 0.90035 area resistance, we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down towards the first target of the 0 0.88601. And if we get a break through this area of support and resistance over here, as you can see, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support on this pair at the 0 0.87750 area roughly. So that is it from me for this week guys. As always I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. I greatly appreciate all of you who do that on a regular basis and also those of you who have subscribed so far. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I hope you have a profitable week next week. I will see many of you in the room next week. The only thing left to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.